In May 2016, I made a decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. It is day five on the pilgrimage. There's a dam that runs right across this river right here, and I rode across it, and it was the most hellish ride I have ever been on because the gravel is so thick, fresh gravel, so my bag tire was spilling like all over the place, and it was a nightmare. Anyway, good time. I camped in Cut Bank last night at the Glacier Mist RV Park and had like the most awesome conversation with Carol, the owner about adventures and shit like that and she was just the neatest person ever. She let me stay in one of the cabins, which does not count as a hotel because the little cabin it is not a hotel. So that I could have Wi-Fi and I had a shower and I got to do laundry. They have laundry and showers and magnificent Wi-Fi. I don't know where I'm going today. I'm headed in the direction of Fort Benton. I know that I won't make it to Zortman and Landusky, which are ghost towns in central Montana until tomorrow. So my goal today is to get into the Fort Benton area. Maybe take a ferry? Maybe get to ride on a ferry? Maybe Lazarus and I will get to ride on a ferry? I don't know yet. I'm getting on a ferry. I will ride a ferry. I've never been on a ferry before and it will happen. Alright. Back on the road. in the sleepy little town of Fort Benton, which has the coolest old buildings ever. So I'm gonna run around and see if I can buy myself some ice cream. I called and the Carter Ferry is supposed to quit at seven. It's five now. I should be able to find myself some ice cream and then skedaddle down the road and get there before the ferry closes. For now, I'm gonna show you Fort Benton because it is really pretty. I am stoked about this town. It was founded in 1866. It's a good year to be founded. Good year to have old buildings. Good year. I'm officially in Belt, Montana. I didn't even know this place existed, but it's a cute, awesome little town. I survived the ferry. I did get lost like once or twice. Okay, maybe twice. Because the uh, old man at the ferry gave me directions. But everything's cool. Everything's fine. I stopped at the little gas station here in town to ask if they knew where to camp because it's getting kind of late. The sun's going down. The little old lady was just like, oh, 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 you just like camp down at this park next to the baseball field. And it's legal. It's a thing. You can do it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll do that. So I'm going to camp at this little city park in Belt and hope that the popo don't show up. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'm going to set up my tent while the sun is still up.
had my first crash on day five. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's an official trip now because I've dropped the bike. I don't know how many bruises I'll have tomorrow, but I'm sure they'll be nice looking. I was going down this road trying to find Maiden, which was evidently was a bad idea. And it came to a puddle that I couldn't cross, so I tried to turn around. Then I spotted this road, and I was like, oh, well that looks like a good spot to turn around in. So I got turned around. It was just um, that pile of wood, that very malicious pile of wood that uh, took me down. I'm pretty sure that she leaked out half of her tank of fuel before I got her up, but I did. And she's down there because it's the only place I could park her without her falling over again. I don't think I'm making it to Zortman today. So we're going to put everything back on the bike and see if she'll start for me. I'm going to load her up and give her some time. She'll start. Not once, but twice. Good job, Amanda. Good job. I didn't really plan on making Judith Basin slash Judith Mountains an all-day thing, but evidently Lazarus had other plans. Thanks, Laz. That's great. But hey, you know, at least it's f***ing pretty. At least it's f***ing pretty. That's it. That's all you can ask for, is that your bike decides to just take a nap in a pretty place. And on the windiest f***ing hill, in the world, I swear. That is the end of the road. Once I got everything back on the bike, it wouldn't start. I figured it was flooded, you know, like bikes do when you drop them. So I gave it a minute and tried again, and again, and again, until I killed the battery. I walked for an hour down the mountain before I found someone to help me jump the bike. It didn't work. We went back into Lewistown to see if we could find a tow truck to get Lazarus off the mountain. This is when I met Martin. He's pretty much the one-man show at Hanser's Towing in Lewistown. He's also one of the most generous and hardworking, friendly people that I have ever met. We started up the mountain to get my bike around 8 p.m., determined that it would be too dark to get the bike down and decide we'd get it the next morning. When I mentioned that all of my camping stuff was still on the bike and I didn't have enough money to stay at a hotel, he let me stay at the shop. 